What's up, everybody? Richie here, Hybrid Athletics, featuring the, the work uniform. Blue collar boys, working hard, but still making gains, which brings me to a great topic that was brought up yesterday. I was talking to my cousin Christian. Shout out my cousin Christian. He's really busy. He doesn't have time to work out. He's gone from the house 18 hours a day, right? I can relate. I know what it's like to be gone working a manual labor job for, you know, 10, 12 hours, you know, it's like, how do you, how do you get your training in when you're so exhausted or when you just simply don't have time? So for anyone there struggling with time issues or you work a phys physically intense job, I have a solution. I've used it before. It works great. And I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. So the first thing we do is we're cutting out all the bullshit workouts. So no pump and fluff shit. No, no little light ass machines, curls, things like that. That's useless. Okay, because you know we're, we're not going to focus our efforts into these things that are going to give us you know minimal returns. We have to maximize uh, all the work that we put in. We want to get the maximum result first. So we're not going to waste any time with that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus... Um, maybe four, maybe four moves, maybe up to eight moves. But I, but just to make it easy, I'll give you a sample program right now. We'll pick four moves, right? So you want a bend move, so deadlift. You want a squat pattern, so obviously like squat. For me, I would do lunges. It feels better on my body. I, I like lunges. Um, so so let's say so a bend, a squat, a press move. So bench press, overhead press, weighted dips, push ups, dips, anything like that. And then a, a pull move, a, he a heavy pull move. So, you know, I would recommend weighted pull-ups, pull-ups, weighted chin-ups, or, uh, you know, bent, heavy bent-over rows. So pick four moves. So just to make it easy, like I'll, I'll give, let's say my program, I would do uh, Romanian deadlifts, lunges, weighted dips, weighted pull-ups. Okay? Now what we're going to do is, when it comes time for the workout... We do a five, 10 minute dynamic warm up, just targeting the muscle that you're about to do. So if, um, it's, let's say it's my, it's my uh, dip day. So I'm gonna do, you know, probably a, a light set of push ups, maybe 10 or 12, just to get some blood flowing, maybe, on, maybe even on a counter, you know? And then, you know, 10, 12 on the ground. Uh, and then maybe I'll do like a set of body weight dips for like, maybe like eight or 10. So the area is warmed up, now we start Ramping up the intensity. I add a 25 pound plate. I do a set nowhere near failure. This is not the working set. We're getting up to the working set. So 25 pounds, you know, maybe I'll do it for th three to five reps. Add another 25 pounds. Now we're doing 50 pounds. Three to f three reps. Uh, 75 pounds. Two reps, you know, two, three reps. 100 pounds extra. Okay, this is the working set. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this set close to failure, leave like maybe two reps in the tank, two or one or two reps in the tank, close to failure. So I'm going after it. Let's say I get eight reps, take a two minute break, same weight again. I get eight reps again. Now the last rep is a little bit harder, right? Uh, then I'm gonna do it again, the third set. Okay, I have a decline in, in my repetition, so maybe the, the last set, I only got five. That's when I cut the weight in half, drop the weight in half, down to 50 pounds, rep almost as much as I can, go one rep away from failure. As soon as I get that, drop the weight again, body weight, smash it out with the dips. Body weight dips, get as many as you possibly can. Can't do any more, drop down, do push-ups till you can't do any. And then after that entire drop set, you can even do push-ups on the counter. After that drop set, you're done. That's it, that's the entire workout. That's, that's taxing on the body. I'm writing down how much weight I did, how many sets, how many reps, and the next day I know I got my bend pattern. So I'm gonna do deadlifts. And I will do the same exact thing. Just, just building up that intensity and just giving everything I have into that one move. So after you go through the week and you do all four of your moves, you know, you could take a rest day or you know, or if you're feeling fresh, you can do it all over again, right? 
So, uh, I mean, this works, guys. I've, I've done this before. I've done this when I was short on time. Now, you don't have to do weighted movements. If pull-ups are challenging for you, just do bodyweight pull-ups for your pull. If push-ups are a good you know, challenge for you, do push-ups. It's, it's really simple. And you just focus all your energy into that one move, and then you, and then you mix it up like that. After, now, as soon as you hit a plateau with a move, like you're not adding weight, you're not adding reps, you know, and it's feeling hard. Take a deload week. Take it easy for a week. Let your body recover. Switch it out for four different moves, right? So now instead of doing weighted dips, maybe I'll, I'll do overhead press, you know, and I'll, and I'll focus on that for eight weeks. Instead of doing Romanian deadlifts, I might do, uh, I might do like a single leg deadlift or something like that. Instead of doing uh, lunges, I might do squats, right? And instead of doing weighted pull-ups, maybe I'll do uh, bent over rows and I'll focus on those moves. And we're just constantly increasing the, the demand every workout. So like I said, you gotta make the workout harder every single time, that's how you're gonna make the gains. So you're looking back going, oh, I did this many reps this uh, last time, let me try and beat that. Or maybe you could do a shorter rest period. But either way, you're progressing the workouts in one form or another. And after you do that for eight weeks and your body has adapted to that program and you seem like you're hitting a plateau with the moves, switch it out. It's really, it's really that simple. So if I'm short on time, I'm busy, I only got 20 minutes to get it in every day because that's just how my life is, it's hectic, that's what I would do. So that's my recommendation for those out there who work manual labor jobs or you just work a lot and you don't have time, this is a program that works. Um, if you really want to switch it up, you could do two moves in a day. Let's say you got more than 20 minutes, you got 40 minutes, and you're trying to really maximize those 40 minutes. You could do two moves in a day, and you do two moves one day, two moves the next day, take a rest day, and then go back at it. All right, guys, I hope that helped. If it did, go ahead, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Got plenty more content on the way. Follow me on Instagram. It's a new one, okay? So go follow that one, Hybrid Athletics. Um, and if you got any questions or comments, leave them in the box below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take it easy. I'll talk to you next time.